This is part one of a two-part cupcake tutorial. We're going to be making a cupcake that looks like this. We're going to start with the base. Later on I'll show you how to make the top out of a coil pot. We'll smooth the inside out and add a little cherry on top. Right now we're going to focus on the base. We want the base to have a little well on the inside. We've got glaze all the way around and then the bottom is empty blank. So I'm going to start off with some clay. I'm going to make my piece a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And I'm going to roll it out. Until I have a circle. And then I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm going to make the beginning of a pinch pot. I'm not going to make it into a full pinch pot, but I'm going to make the beginning of a pinch pot, put a little bit of a well in there. And I'm going to drop it into my silicone. And this is a cupcake holder that you could get in any store. It's a silicone cupcake holder. And I'm going to use my thumbs to make sure that it's pushed into the corners. And any extra clay that might be in there I'm going to go ahead and kind of bring it up over the top. Oh. I don't want my walls to be too thin because this is going to have to support the top of the cupcake. All right. The other thing I'm doing is I'm making sure that it's going to sit flat. If I push down in the bottom too far, it's going to bow out and then it's going to be unstable. But if I make sure that the bottom is flat as I'm doing this, it'll sit very nicely. Alright, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to take a regular old butter knife, plastic butter knife, and I am going to saw away anything that was sticking over the top that's going to do two things it's going to get rid of any extra clay that I no longer need and then it's also going to make it a lot easier to set that top on there because it's going to be nice and flat All right. Now to remove it from the silicone holder, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to take a couple fingers and stick them on top. I'm going to take my hand and take one of the petals and just lift right over. And voila, you have perfect cupcake outside with a well on the inside. And I could take my fingers and kind of go around the edge to make it as perfect as I can. And that is how you make your cupcake base.